Hello, everybody. Thanks for being here. I'm really happy to be here at the Kino. Uh, you guys were talking about how it's spelt. It's actually Kino with a Q, because people line up around the block to come to this place here in Vancouver. I'm a millennial, and I'm a huge pussy. I suffer from PTSD, but over things that haven't happened. So it's a pre-traumatic stress disorder. Like the other day, I was all worried. I was like, man, it's gonna suck when my cat dies. I don't even have a cat. And I'm at that age where people, like my buddies are already doing the kids these days things. My one buddy's like, man, kids these days, they're a bunch of little shit rats running around. They got no respect for anything. I'm like, kids these days? I remember being 12 years old with you, Darren, going to Save On Foods, stealing a flat of Pepsi, taking that Pepsi to a hill on the side of the highway, and then chucking full cans of pop at passing cars. Like, we were little shit rats. And besides, I think every generation thinks the generation after him sucks, you know? Like, my parents call my generation lazy, but if I talk to my grandparents, they're like, huh, I don't know what your parents are bitching about. They didn't even have to defeat Hitler. And the older generation is way too concerned with uh, like kids being lost in a forest. They seem to think that's the best way to measure IQ. Like my grandpa's like, if you took a kid nowadays and dropped him off in the middle of the woods, he would die. <laughs> okay, grandpa. First of all, if you took a kid nowadays and dropped him off in the middle of the woods, you would go to jail, you psychopath. And secondly, he would be out of there in no time at all. He'd use his iPhone, Apple Maps. He'd be, in home, he'd be at home in time to see you get hauled away by child services. You know? And besides, we've successfully deforested like 70% of the planet. So you're welcome. And I don't think you're any better. I've seen you get lost in a Walmart parking lot like three times. And I think this uh, whole pandemic's got to be really stressful for like uh, scientists, right? Because I think bro science has somehow made its way into real science. You know, like we're putting like plastic over the ATMs and the card reading machines. They were already plastic. They're like, dude, it's like putting on two condoms. You can never be too safe. Like, yeah, that makes sense if you're trying to protect the machine. That'd be like me putting on a condom while I'm getting fucked in the ass. And social distancing, stupid, right? I mean, this virus came all the way from China. It's probably gonna go an extra six feet. The good thing that came out of this, though, is the CERB. Like, my buddies, they brag about getting paid sick days. Like, right now, the Canadian government's paying me because other people are sick. <laughs> but this vaccine is sure taking a long time. But then I thought about it, and I was like, well, it's the thing is they need people who have the virus who are willing to be part of the trial. So I guess it's just going to take patience, you guys. <laughs> now, you know something I noticed? How come sounds are only annoying when I'm not making them? like chewing gum or like tapping my foot or like fucking. Like I love the sound of sex when I'm having sex, but I hate the sound of sex when someone else is having it, especially with my girlfriend. All right, my name is Alice McKenzie. Thank you guys so much.